Good morning. Uh, how's everybody today? So I just wanted to do a quick, um, a quick share with you on how to make duct tape um, into almost like a script stamp washi tape. Um, whatever you whatever you want to use it for really but I wanted to show you a couple of techniques um, and actually a couple of these are new I haven't tried them so duct tape alone I've painted and then stamped on and used as um, a you know a, a replacement of washi tape actually and it works really cool but what it did do was um, when you like scratched on it, the paint came off the duct tape. So this morning I was going to try it with a different, um, technique, which would be to put the, a tooth down here. So I have clear gesso and I thought we would do one with clear gesso. And then, um, one with white gesso and the reason I wanted to try white gesso was because um, I'll show you the color over top of the gray um, gives it like a muted, a muted color so I wanted to see if the white gesso would um help the top coat hold its color i really like that muted look but i'm just kind of playing and wanting to see what these different um mediums would do So this one's the white and I just took um, clear a uh, clear gesso or an opaque I guess and then added white paint to it and stored it in this little container so that I could have white and and clear but and this is easier to keep on my desk Coated. We want to coat it really clear to make sure we get the corners and stuff too. So make sure you get it covered really well. Okay, and then what I wanted to try, so we did clear, two white, and then this one, um, I just want to see if I can paint it, and then I have some collage podge. I have never used this before, but um, I think it's like the comparable to Mod Podge, just different. Um, ooh, you know, manufacturer. That kind of spit out everywhere. Okay. So I just picked out three colors, um, and they're just acrylic paint. So this Caribbean, an English ivy, and a pink, and I thought we could play with those. So let's paint the pink one first, because then I can hit it with um, the heat tool and help dry this bottom layer, as well as the gessos. So if you can see here how the gray um, 
changes this bright pink to a more kind of muted pink. And I love it, but. Since I was playing, I figured um, we would give it a test and see what we come up with. Okay, so now I'm just going to dry it. And I, this is just an old cutting board that I used, the duct tape. Um, sticks to it, but it also comes off really easy. I just kind of curled the ends over so they'd be easier to peel. And I don't want to get those too hot because I don't want to melt the stickiness underneath. I just want to help speed up the drying time so that we can move on. So I'm sorry if this is loud. And this will be new too. Let's, oh yeah, still coming up. I'm a little spooked about melting that backside. So maybe right there. All right, I think we're probably good enough. So let's try this and see what we end up with. So with the paint, pink one will wipe my brush off here. Cover this in. The collage podge and see if it like seals it in so it doesn't um, peel up off of the duct tape. And I'm not sure um, if it'll work, you know, because that duct tape is so slick on that one side. It might be the ticket having a base layer down first. Okay, so there's the collage page. And then this one's white gesso. And because I have pink on that brush, we'll go ahead and paint this one pink. Oh yeah, it's already taken the color. I'll, sh I'll hold this up in a minute when we're done and let you see the color difference here. I guess it really just depends on which one holds up the best and then which look that you're going for. And I like the use of the duct tape because it's really sticky. So with our washi tape, you know, we glue it down. But with this, there's no need to glue it down because it holds so well. I mean, you can always glue it down, but... A little, oh, better not paint over that one. Huh, maybe, let's see, so paint and then the collage page, and then what if I put, I just already started, so let's just put a little bit here and see if that makes a difference. Okay. So that darker half. It's always fun when you're, whoop trying something out and it works. I was making a box and I needed to uh, cover a couple of the pieces. Well, this little guy doesn't want to come off. Um, and so I painted some duct tape up and 
stuck it on there and it, well, I stamped on it, but, and then stuck it on there and it turned out so cute. I'm like, score. And I've used it for a couple other things too. So the possibilities are endless. This is a really pretty color. Caribbean. Wow, look how bright that is. That is really pretty. I hope you guys can see this. had a pretty good storm that moved in last night oh and right there you can tell um, where I didn't get the gesso and it's has completely changed the color the gray actually is showing through it I'm just trying to hit these ends here. That's really pretty. It's a pretty color. I'm running out of room here. Okay, let me grab another brush. Do I have a... I don't have one as big. This one's really big. I should do... Oh, and this one... And this too, um, if you don't need as wide, you know, you can cut it in half or rip you off a chunk or only use what you need. So that's kind of cool. You do up a few different colors beforehand and, or just to already have on the, on the ready. probably stick it to some wax paper or something and fold it up and okay so this is the English ivy green I'm gonna like this already I love this color look at that uh-huh that's a gorgeous color and this one was over the clear gesso. And this crafting paint dries so quickly. Nice. Okay, so let me hold this up so you can see these colors. Let me get in this light. So the English ivy and... Can you see the difference in this one here? But then I did put a little extra here. And it's drying quite quick, but I want to stamp right quick before we end this so we can see how well. So again, I'm just going to hit it really quick so I don't melt that sticky under there. And I can see it's still a little wet right there. And we want it good and dry because we don't want the paint sticking to our stamp. I mean, we can always clean it, but... Just kind of make sure. It looks pretty dry. There might be... This spot right there, I'll just kind of stay away from it. Okay, 
So I just pulled out a couple of stamps, a script stamp and a butterfly, and some black um, ink. So let's see how this works. And then it should be drying. We can see if it's going to stay on it. The paint's going to stay on the... So if we go this way, I can cover multiples at once. And then maybe we'll hit it here. Yeah, look at that. Anchor up good again. So I'm hoping that you ladies are been in your wheels right now thinking of all the stuff that you can use this for get one here and one here okay and then let's play with the butterfly it up really well. What do you guys think? Yeah, well, I guess we probably better see what the end result is if it stays on the tape or not. I don't want to be doing all this for nothing. And this here is the only one that we sealed. So maybe we can try sealing it. Let's see. I split the tape I should get half and half like that and then put that one there Oh my gosh, I'm loving this. And then maybe here. A good push. And then maybe one right here. I'm just re-inking this because I really want to make sure that it takes its Makes this impression really well. Oh, how cute. What do you guys think? Cute, cute. Let me hold this up for you. Look at that. This is very muted and earth tony. I love that. And then you could just continue layering. I do have a um uh, postage stamp I think I'm going to add in here right quick just a just a postage and get up okay and then just add Kind of a randomy. This one doesn't have it. Should be enough. But it's a light stamp. Oh yeah. Okay, let me get these out of my way. All right, let's take a look and see. Okay, so this one is the clear gesso on the bottom. 
and it's on there. I mean, I'm having to rub really hard in order to get that. And I can scratch that one if I'm digging in it. And that one too. And that one way too. Okay. So I wonder what the difference is with that. So I think we should um, get out our try and true Mod Podge here. And I'm just going to slap a coat over it. And of course, grab a white. this off right quick. All right, now let's see. Let's see if we can just seal it right in. And the ink's holding up. not smearing or nothing which is good give this a final pull get as much of the streaks out of there And this is just my mat, um, too. So if you wanted this to be all shiny and stuff, you could use the, the glossy. That was my arm for my camera holder. I smacked with my paintbrush. It was loud, echoey. Help this dry. Would imagine, I mean, if you scrape hard enough, you can peel anything off. So maybe I was just determined to scratch it. I don't know. I really like this look where that gray shows through. I think it looks cool. But then I'm really loving this green. And I think this green will go in perfect in my journal, my grungy journal that I'm working on. And I have some videos out on that if you haven't seen them and want to create a journal along with me. I'd love to have you. This one here, a little tacky. And I think we're almost done, ladies. Almost done. And gentlemen. Okay. Still a little tacky, so we'll stay away from that. I think these ends are pretty good. 
Okay. Key. So, and this one, oh, it's still tacky. Um, this is the one that has nothing on the bottom. And it's got the, just over the top of it. And if I, if I could find a, oh, here. So if I work at it, I can get it to peel. And this is with nothing on the bottom and just um, Mod Podge on the top. So if it's probably going to be something that, you know, if we're putting it on our tag or whatever um, as the layer, then this right here would be perfectly fine. If it's something that's going to be sliding in and out, I would go with a tooth at the bottom and then the paint and then just Mod Podge. All right, fun, fun, fun. I hope um, everybody has enjoyed this and that maybe I've inspired you um, to see what you can do with duct tape. All right, thank you. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all of you. And I will see you soon. Have a great day.